Stick It with Mr. Biggs is made possible by listeners like you. To support the show, go to askmrbiggs.com slash support. Stick it. Live from Mr. Biggs's rec room? We're, it's rec room, not den, right? It's, it's not room. live, Roger. It's on tape. Um, but it's uh, we're, we're live to tape. It's uh, another episode of Stick It with Mr. Biggs. Here he is, the the expert of all things that stick, adhes, glue, yeah. and seal. Yeah. It's Mr. Biggs. That was not the strongest intro we've had, Roger. That I'm was trying not to. The be- not I'm trying the to best be. One. I'm trying to be kind of loose, casual, yeah. kind of like uh, Conan O'Brien. Have you seen his show? He is the guy with the. Um, hold! Don't tell me. I remember. I say the name again. Conan O'Brien. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's the guy that has the. Um, what do you call it? Um, the There's t- the, the. He's side, got the um, sidekick. No, no, that's not it. Um, no, you know, you know the thing. This guy's the the talk show host. No, I wasn't, or was I? No, that wasn't it. Uh, no, I. You know, I thought I knew who he was, but I don't think I do. He's got the the late night TV show. He has guests. What, what, t- say the name again. Say the name one more time. But this time, Roger, I'm going to ask that you say it slowly and clearly. Because the first time you sped right through it. And that is one of the problems I've got with this introduction thing. You gotta you gotta be clear, or else people will not understand what you're saying. Say his name slowly, Roger. Conan O'Brien. I don't have any idea who that is. I have not a clue. He's got the he's known for his hair. Oh, the guy with the pants. That guy. Him, yeah, he has those two. Has yeah, those two. I know him. He's got, oh yeah, he's got. He little... does good work. I I love his uh, salads. He's got that salad bar. Well, he's got so many topping choices. Why did you bring him up? I don't understand. Um, it's time once again for another episode of. Stick didn't it. We, do the, we did this part already, didn't I'm we? Just, I could I'm, have sworn we did the introduction already. I thought we'd, we'd start from scratch since we had a little... Oh, this. we don't have... Roger, these tapes only go 30 minutes per side. If we right. go over that, the tape is going to run out, and we right. are not going to have... We're going to have podcasters interrupt this. <laughs> did, you, did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's good. It's That's good. my little joke. It's a good one. <laughs> I said podcast is interrupt this. <laughs> well, because the tape would run out before we were done recording, and then we would it would stop, it would stop right. before the end, and the people listening wouldn't hear the end of it because there wasn't enough tape, because you went too long. Just do the intro one time. Well, Roger. well ho- hopefully we won't have that tonight. So yeah, stick it with Mister Biggs is a podcast where I uh, I tell you how to stick it. Stick it. And we uh, we ask people to send in their questions about glues and adhesives of Seal- all kinds. Sealants. If you got a problem, you got something busted, and you need to fix it. You just uh, let us know, and uh, I'll, I'll I'll take a swing at it. You just go over to askmrbigs.com, and yeah. you got all of our links and all of our things, all the hey. ways to contact the show. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, is, uh... Does your mom still make that ambrosia salad, Roger? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Anytime man. there's some sort of church function or yeah. sometimes as a, as a special summertime treat, you know, yeah. it's a good... It's a good Cool refrigerator based salad. Um, really nice. I couldn't nice help for- but notice that you, you mentioned uh, uh, two occasions where she makes it and you did not mention upon the request of Mr. Biggs. So I would like to ask you to please put in a request on my behalf and tell her that I would certainly appreciate it. I yeah. mean, I'll return the Tupperware when I'm done. Yeah. 
she tends to she tends to just want to make that during the the summer months, but uh, I'm sure she'll make a make an exception for you. We'll see that she does because I got a hankering. You know what else I got a hankering for, Roger? Um, n- this, uh, breaking. This news? is where you no don't don't say break, Roger. Breaking you ruined news. it. When I say, you know what else I got a hankering for? You say, what? And then I'm going to say the breaking news. Uh All right, let's do this again. Okay. You know what else I got a hankering for? What's that? The breaking news! Breaking news on Stick It with Mr. Biggs. Yeah. We find a story in the news where something got all busted up, and I tell you how to uh, fix it or repair it using glues and or adhesives. Dateline, Queens Park in downtown Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The story reads as follows. A small oblong tear mars the fathers of Confederation painting depicting the Quebec... Conference of 1864. Uh, The massive century-old oil painting was hanging over the grand staircase at Queens Park when it was ripped as a work crew tearing down scaffolding from a paint job. Oh, geez, these guys. Wow. Tearing down scaffolding from a paint job banged a sharp edge into the canvas. Mm. Roger, how many times have I told you paint scaffoldings and artwork do not mix? It's It sounds a bit dicey. It's got sharp edges and it's dirty from previous jobs. And I will add, and I step very carefully here because several of these guys are my friends. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to say it anyway. I'm not going to be popular, but I'm going to say it. A lot of the guys... In the manual labor painting service industry are not geniuses. Yeah. I said it. Throwing it out there. And when you put that together with sharp edges on a scaffolding and fine art, mistakes will happen. I don't know anybody in that industry. I mean, I I don't know. I know they all wear white pants. These goons that were trying to paint up the place were tearing down the scaffolding and a sharp edge tore the canvas of the Fathers of Confederation painting. And it says here in the story that the oblong tear is just off the toe of Whelan's boot in the lower corner of the 6 by 3.5 metri painting. I guess... Metri. What's Me- a, what is a metri? It's what is a, that? It's a meter. It's a meter. Oh, they spelled it wrong in the news story, yeah, Roger. Well, you know, you got a it's, misspelling. It's um, and you know, on top of that, it's uh, it's a unit of measurement in Canada, and a metri. Case, me- what is- m- meter? Meter. I think it's a Canadian spelling of meter. And uh, just for anyone wondering, a meter is pretty <laughs> pretty much uh, the same as a yard. In <laughs> Roger, you trying to tell me that in Canada they spell meter wrong? That's what you're saying? Well, I listen think, to yourself. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I think. Um, <laughs> no, wait. I understand what you're saying. They don't use feet like we do here in America. They use meters. Yeah. What I'm saying is the news story misspelled the word meter, and they they spelled it metri. I understand they don't use feet, Roger. That part I get. Right. I'm just saying they spelled meter wrong in the story. That's all I'm saying. Well, what I what I I guess what I'm saying is uh, different uh, countries that use the metric system. Yeah. I think maybe spell meter yeah. two different ways. It's, yeah, it's I know. Kinda sure. Tomato. Yeah. Tomato, kind of thing. Alicia Couts of Toronto Art Restoration Incorporated could not estimate how much the project to repair it would cost. Art conservation is expensive. It has to be perfect and it has to last forever, she said. Well, I'm going to disagree with Mm -hmm. Alice, Alicia, Roger, how how do you say this name right here? Alicia. That's Alicia. Alicia. Her name is Alicia Couch. Yeah. 
I'm going to disagree with Alicia Counts on on one point. I agree with her that the repair job has to last forever. Okay. But when she says it has to be expensive and it's got to be perfect, I I disagree wholeheartedly. Because here on Stick It, Stick It, we're going to tell you how to fix it forever. But it's not going to be uh, overly expensive, like one of them uh, fancy art repair fellas. Right, right, sure. Well, this will be uh, this will be interesting. I'm I'm excited to hear uh, how this is going to go because you know those yeah. people in the art world are very particular about how things they're, get. They're hoity-toity and they're unnecessarily uh, snooty about uh, the materials. But the painting is on canvas. Now, canvas is not an exotic material. Anybody who's ever gone camping will tell you a lot of tents are made out of canvas. Yeah. If you've got an old tent that you can use, what you want to do is just cut out a circle that's a a little bit bigger than the tear in the hole that's in the Fathers of Confederation painting. Right, right. Now, if you don't have an old tent, uh, maybe you got an old pair of blue dungaree pants. That you're not wearing anymore. Right, right. Little, A little too small. You've yeah. Grown, kind of waist is expanded. Maybe the, the legs have started to fray a little bit. Take a like a pocket section of your dungarees, cut out a little patch, a little bit bigger than the hole in the yeah. Fathers of Confederation painting. This, yeah, the, the sever, the mar, yeah. as they say, the mar. Hold the patch up to the hole and make sure that uh, it goes well around the torn area. Now, I want you to take some waxed thread, Alicia, and a canvas owl, and I want you to puncture some holes around the perimeter of the patch area using the waxed thread to sew the patch in place. Uh, you mean you mean sew it into the back of the canvas? Is that what you're saying? If it's easier to get to the back, do it on the back. Or if it's easier to get to it on the front, you could do it there too. Because you're putting the wax thread through the canvas. It doesn't matter which side you put it on, Roger. Right, right. Okay. All right. Now, we don't want any of that uh, patch to fray on the ends. This repair has got to last forever. So I want you to pick up a jar of bish and uh, shake it up real nice. And you're going to apply that to the edge of your denim patch or your canvas patch. You're looking for Bish's Tear Mender Instant Fabric Adhesive. Hmm. A lot of fabric stores will have that as well. It's right. uh, good It's good for making your own patches. You can apply that to the back of a piece of fabric, stick it on another piece of fabric. Not only will it hold it there, but it's going to keep the ends from fraying. It'll uh, hold the weave together, Moss. which is exactly what we're looking for here. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice touch because that's... That's good. Put that around your blue jeans patch and maybe put a little bit underneath. Make sure that it's going to stick real good to that old, old canvas. And then apply some pressure. Maybe uh, clamp it together with a a couple of magazines, putting weight on it and let it sit till it dries. And then after that, it's up to you. Do you, you leave the torn out portion blank? Or if you want to fill it in, where the torn portion of the painting is, just take a picture of it over to Lowe's and have them paint match the area around the boot. Color match some boot brown. And then you just uh, use a cotton swab to uh, dab some of that into the denim patch area. Well, I think... um, 20, 30 feet away, you're not going to be able to tell any difference. And if there's any waxed thread hanging down... From where you sewed the blue jeans patch on, just go ahead and trim that off with a pair of scissors, and then you're done. And that's how you stick it. Stick it with, with Mr. Biggs. I got I got one question before we move on. Um, this uh, I don't know if you took this into consideration or or maybe you just missed it in the uh, in the news story. It says the uh, the painting is looks well, like a hundred year hundred. Hundred years old. Yeah. Right. Right. I mean, is this whole process going to have to be treated differently because the canvas is really old, or is that not going to matter? 
Well, that's probably one of the reasons it ripped, because it's so damn old. Right, they didn't make right. canvases well back in them old-timey days. Right, they make right. it a lot better now. Right. In fact, any of your mass-produced dungaree jeans are going to be a superior quality to that old canvas. So I'm guessing that our little patch that we've fashioned out of the blue jeans and the wax thread is probably going to outlive this old painting. Okay, well, that's a... Uh... That's a good. Uh, that's a good trick. This that's has a- been breaking news. I think you might want to talk to uh, Alicia Coots of the uh, Toronto Art Rest- Restoration Company before you take on that project with the, Oh, Roger. Uh, Maybe with, you misunderstood. I'm not going to do this myself. My job on this well, podcast is not to do the, the thing for well, them. My job is to tell them how to stick it. Stick it. And so that's your recommendation for Alicia yeah. Coots is to get some bishes and, uh, and take care of that. Yeah, bish it up. Bish it up real good. Bigscast at gmail. Gmail.com. Gmail.com. It's Bigscast. Yeah. Bigscast at gmail.com. Send your uh, questions, your queries uh, to that address, and uh, we'll take a look at them, and the uh, the best questions we'll use on the air. Seems pretty simple. Yeah. And here it is. It's... Wait. I'm sorry. What are you doing? <laughs> it's... Here it is. Here we go. It's time for what? another email. For, what are you doing? Wait. It's time for another email to stick it with Mr. Biggs. What? Are you getting a call? What? What is happening right now? No, I just, I got, I got a little confused. The, the, I didn't know which one we we're going to use. So I was flipping through a couple and then I got a little yeah. distracted, but I'm set now. I'm good to go. I got, I got an email ready to go and here it is. And so Just do me you- a favor, Roger. Leave your telephone off during the show. Just leave it off, and then we won't be interrupted by these uh, strange sounds and noises. Okay. I'll just set it on no sound. Yeah. Okay. That's now that one's no sound and vibrate. No. Don't put it on vibrate, Roger, because vibrate is not no sound. Vibrate makes a sound. Okay, no sound, this little line through the bell. All right, here we go. This is from uh, Matthew in Austin, Texas. Hi, Matthew. What's your question? He sends an email that says, Dear Mr. Biggs, every now and again I break something and I need to stick it. Stick it. Yeah. Yeah, good one. Often I, yeah, he's listened to the show before. Often I use, often I use a cyana cracrylate adhesive or super glue. The problem is I never need to use anything close to a full tube of glue. Usually I only use a droplet. So I put the cap on the rest of the glue and put it away somewhere safe. Yeah. Okay. However, the next time I need super glue, it always seems like the entire tube of glue has gone solid. So is there anything I can do to keep Cyanoacrylate adhesive from going solid in the cyanoacrylate, Roger. Cyanac, Roger. Here's a tip: just call it CA. People will know what you mean. Will they? Yeah. I, I would not know what that is. If I said CA glue, they would know, or just CA. You can call it CA glue. You can call it super glue. You can call it uh, cyanoacrylate. That's a so- name a lot of people use. Call it cyanoacrylate. Cyan- that, le- that leaves no room for interpretation. Cy- cyanacryl- Cyanoacrylate. Cyanoacrylate. Adhesive. From going solid in the tube and it's not in use. Thank you. Matthew in Austin, Texas. All right. So Matthew's got a tube of super glue that's going hard on him. Yeah, he's got a super glue issue. Super glue does it actually dry? Drying meaning water is leaving the glue. Mm. Uh, super glue is different because it doesn't actually dry. It polymerizes. It has a crystalline structure at the molecular level that starts in the presence of moisture. 
Sure. So if Matthew in Texas has got a little uh, bottle of super glue that's going hard when he's not using it, I mean, somehow, I don't know how, how is it happening? Moisture is getting into his little tube of glue. So there's a couple of reasons for that, Matthew. You are not putting the cap back on the super glue. That's the reason they come with caps. Well, close the bottle of super glue when you're done using it, uh, Matthew, and that'll solve your problem. Those those humid Austin summers. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, every time okay. you open up that little bottle and you squeeze it out and then you release it, you're sucking back in humid air from the room around you. That humidity in the air is all that the super glue needs to start the polymerization process. And now. You set the bottle down, and you're going to have a little uh, a little hard bottle the next time you need to uh, stick it. Stick it. So my uh, first uh, suggestion is close up that bottle. Immediately. Immediately upon uh, applying the droplet, get the lid right back on. The other thing you may want to consider, Matthew, is not buying such a big bottle of super glue. I mean, because if you're only using a little droplet at a time... You don't need very much. So just go to the dollar store and get the tiny little tubes of super glue. Cyan- that way, cyanoacrylate. Cyan- cyanoacrylate. And that way, uh, it's you're not uh, wasting so much every time you leave the cap off. Did I mention to put the cap back on? Did you I did. mention that, yep. Roger? Yep, you covered that. Put you the covered cap the, back on. You covered the, the, the humid summers, I guess yeah. those little water droplets get right in there. I would and... recommend going to a hobby store and buying the thin variety. It's going to cost you a little bit more, but the tube is going to be much bigger. And because it's thin, it's going to last a lot longer because it's further away from the polymerization state. So get some thin CA glue from the hobby store. But still, at the same time, don't get get the get the cap back on when you're done with your gluing. Did I forget to mention to put the cap back on uh, for for the for the hobby store glue? Yeah, yeah. Put the cap back on when you're done using the glue. I should have mentioned that first. That should have been the first thing I said. Damn, I was going to mention that. Thanks, Roger. I appreciate just that. Trying to make sure that we're covering all the bases here. Now, if you've got a bottle at home already and you want to try to keep it liquid, you can try keeping it in the freezer because, believe it or not, the air in the freezer is actually quite dry. And as we mentioned, humidity is what's going to pop the polymerization process and cause your tube of super glue to go hard on you. So put it in the freezer with the cap on. Did I mention to put the cap on, Roger? Uh, Pretty much unless you're applying glue, you want the cap on. Yeah, put the cap on, and you can put it in the freezer until you need it. And then uh, that's a relatively dry environment. If you're concerned that it's uh, still going to leak and you you tried putting the cap on, which was the first thing you should do, you could try sealing it inside a sandwich bag with a silicate desiccant packet. Whoa. You know, one of those little things that come with your new shoes that say, do not eat? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, that will remove moisture from the air. Put that in a sandwich bag and then throw your super glue in with that. Seal it up. No moisture. You got uh, viscous super glue. And uh, lastly, I would recommend if you got uh, one of them uh, home food vacuum sealers, Mm, mm. put it in there and suck all the air out. That way there's no humidity left. You got a nice neatly sealed up tube of glue that uh, you can tear open next time you need glue. You can Yeah, yeah, then you tear open that bag and you use the glue and then you put the cap back on, put it back in a fresh bag and seal it up again and you've made a very easy 17-step process for using cyanoacrylate glue. Thanks for the question there, Matthew, and uh get on out there and stick it. Stick it. Yeah. Well, that was a fantastic question from Matthew in Austin. I, I, it, it did raise a question in my mind as I was listening to your, to your answer, your very informative, helpful answer. And that you mentioned in the answer that um, someone could get some super glue at a dollar store. Yeah. Now, my first, if I saw super glue at a dollar store, I would think, oh, there's no way that that ceranolacrylate glue could be any good. Um, cause it's at a dollar store and mm-hmm. I mean, what are the chances that it's going to, it's really going to stick like real super glue, but you're, are you saying that's, that's not, not the case? 
Yeah, it, it is not the case. Now, there is a downside to getting your It's uh, not. Wait, I'm sorry. It's, it's not the case. It is not, not the case that it's... It can or cannot stick like super glue. It is it not. Can. It can. It can. It can stick like super glue because it is super glue, Roger. Cyanoacrylate is cyanoacrylate. It's a chemical. It doesn't change from product to product. They just rebrand it, but it's the same stuff. Okay. There is there is a downside, however, to go. buying it at the dollar store. Would you like to hear what the downside is? You mean other than um, having to deal with all of the different products strewn all over the floor? The stains toys and their busted yeah plant potters the scratchy speaker announcements sketchy characters hanging out in aisles that you would not expect them to be in lots of bags of anonymous candies yeah there's one other downside to buying your super glue at the dollar store and that is this because they want to make it as cheap as possible, they will sell a foil tube about the size of your pinky. And that foil tube will be, uh, it'll look nice and fat. And uh, boy, that oh. looks like pl- that looks like plenty of super glue for my needs. I'm going to buy that because the price is so good. It's a dollar for seven bottles of little finger-sized super glue. I'm telling you, when you get that home and you crack open one of those little foil bottles... It's probably going to have about nine or ten drops of CA glue in each bottle. They do short you on the amount in the bottle, right. but for the standard household that only needs a little bit of glue at a time, it's probably more than enough for a project. So, right. yeah, it's okay to use it, but just don't expect that little tube to be full. It's going to be the same super glue that you get in the big box store with the big brand name and... Uh, yeah, you you won't have as much, but you got enough for your project, and that is what is important. Although I do keep a large supply of CA glue on hand at all times. I've got a Rubbermaid uh, carry-all that I keep all my different variations of CA glue in. I got thick, I got thin, I've got the gel. You should probably get a picture of that and put it up on the uh, face uh, face face page. I don't think I have a camera on my phone. I've tried finding it, but I cannot figure out for the life of me. Can I? Can I, can I see your phone real quick? No, no, you may not. Because usually, and I, I, and I would thank you not to ask again because the answer okay. is no. Well, just I'm just saying on the front page there, there's like a little stick it, little icon of a camera, and it says camera. <laughs> I see where you're going with this, Roger, and that is adorable. <laughs> It's just a picture of a camera, Roger. It's not a real camera. It's an icon of a camera. It's it's not a real camera. Right. It's just on the screen. You thought right. it was a real camera. I can see it. <laughs> that see is it. cute. I can see it from here. Can I just reach over? And... You can't take a picture with a picture, Roger. It doesn't work that way. Here, let me just read. Let me just no! Read. No phones during the show. Stick it. Hey, listen, we couldn't do Stick It with Mr. Biggs unless some of you people supported us on Patreon. People like Jamie Henry, Matt, Matt Lee Keystaps, and also Math and Anderson. Thank you. If you want to support us, go to askmrbiggs.com slash support. Stick it. Is the tape still going? We're just about out of tape. Okay. We better wrap uh, it up. We better shut it down then for uh, it's another tell episode. People, tell people where to go. Tell them. All right. You can find us at askmrbiggs.com. You get all the information about the Facebook page, the Twitter email address. All that stuff is there, and you can find out. Yeah, send us a question about glues and adhesives. Stick it. If you tilt the phone to me, I can just show you. Because once oh, you this one, yeah, the see right there, the camera. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is a picture of a camera, Roger. Can you just press it here? Let me, let me press it. Let me. Can I read? No. Okay, I won't. 
You gotta have boundaries. And this is Mo.